Uganda has the highest rate of unemployed youth in the region, standing at 86% according to the Uganda National Bureau of Statistics. However, this has wider implications on the country's economic and security stability. Speaking at the media briefing held at the Ministry of Gender, Labor and Social Development, Junior Minister for Youth Affairs, Evelyn Anite, appealed to the youth to take lead in the constitutional amendment process and put their proposal for considerations before 20th of this month. Her remarks falls on the heels of planned election for the new youth national leadership prior to 2016 polls. My work method is to get the views of the young people to see how we can make their leadership uh, very, very effective for all of them. So we also want, I want to call upon all the young people who have access to the act to try to look at the act and propose amendments and they can submit to my office. We've got a commitment to the younger people to make sure that they continuously uh, uh, participate in matters that affect them. And this is why, for example, we made sure that uh, the youth level program is a participatory program. Anita stressed that in spite of the tiny resource envelope of the Electoral Commission, the electoral body needs to take the concerns of the youth seriously, whom she thinks have an upper hand in the political process of the country ahead of the 2016 elections. Serious their financial, ch financial challenges may be, or might be, but they have to take the issues of youth leadership as a priority because the young people represent 78% of the population. And uh, if they don't have leadership in place, they are bound to face very serious and critical challenges. Whereas the promises from the central government to address the concerns of the youth under the Youth Development Fund, Permanent Secretary Pius Bigrimana was quick to accusing the youth of being too demanding. Responding to the question of youth unemployment, Bigrimana said, there is, there is progress to addressing this impasse. He noted that government has signed several agreements with the foreign companies and ready to employ Ugandan youth outside Uganda. Young people who cannot get jobs here, they can get them outside. It doesn't have to be in Uganda. Like yesterday, we had to sign some few uh, agreements and uh, we hope that soon uh, some of the young people will be benefiting from this arrangement. However, some youth had reservations to the explanation of the minister and her permanent secretary. When everybody was saying that Vigilimana should be nowhere, we welcomed him here. We said Vigilimana should come to the Ministry of Gender. But now it is him being used by the minister, sending letters to the district that the term of office of the district persons and other youth structures have expired. But we are asking ourselves, how?